My name is Marion Hall and founder of the World Priest Global Apostolate. I extend a very, very warm welcome to all our prayer friends on this, our virtual Rosary Thursday day. We pray for the intentions of Pope Francis. We pray for the sanctification of priests. And especially today, we pray for the people in the Ukraine, for the priests, for the people, and for the children, for everybody. Um, this uh, virtual Rosary Thursday will begin with reflections in English and Spanish with opening prayers uh, by Monsignor Felices from the Grotto of Lourdes in Puerto Rico. It is a very, very beautiful grotto and the Monsignor will uh, explain more to us about his very, very beautiful shrine as we, um, as, as we go through our time of prayer. So I now um, ask Monsignor Fernando Felices to please begin the Rosary Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. There he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first of the luminous mystery is the baptism of the Lord. Jesus identifies with sinners as he places himself in that line of sinners that were seeking a sign of forgiveness because they were showing a sign of repentance. St. John the Baptist knows that holiness is approaching him and he says, you have to baptize me. But Jesus says, no, we have to follow God's command and he wants us to identify with the sinners. I have become man in order to forgive sinners. And this sign of joining others in repentance is very important. So in this first mystery, we shall ask the Lord to renew our baptismal filial love for God. El primer misterio luminoso es la, la, el bautismo de Jesús en el río Jordán. Jesús era santo y sin embargo ha querido identificarse con nosotros como pecador, como si fuese pecador. Eso lo va a llevar a la cruz. Él acepta de Juan Bautista una señal de arrepentimiento y de perdón de Dios. En este misterio vamos a pedir renovar nuestro sentido de filiación divina. Muy bien.
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, <laughs> thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save Amen. us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Today is a day of reckoning, and it's a day of prayer because a war has started in Ukraine, or it has flared up. It's eight years there has been a war in Ukraine. But we are going to pray to Our Lady of Peace. Our Lady of Fatima is Our Lady of Peace. We are going to ask her, especially today, that there be peace in the hearts of the Eastern Europeans, especially the Russians, on behalf of world peace. The second meditation on the second luminous mystery, the wedding feast of Canaan. At that time, is the first miracle of Jesus, and it's a very important miracle. It has references to, to the cross. And... The wedding feast is the symbol of heaven, as a matter of fact. Jesus is the real, the real spouse of, that God has sent to throw humanity, and especially his church. So this wedding is no common wedding. The wedding at Cana is a prefiguration of the wedding of Jesus with the church. And Our Lady, the Mother, 
sensitivity of women. She notices that without wine, you cannot have a wedding party. And she asks Jesus. She doesn't tell him what to do. She asks him. Can you do anything for these bridegroom and bride? And then he performs his first miracle. Very important what the evangelist says. His disciples believed in him. They, their faith grew in him. Well, now we're asking Our Lady to put peace into the hearts of men, not wine into a wicked heart. Este segundo misterio luminoso, las bodas de Cana, es el primer misterio, el primer milagro de Jesucristo, no es cualquier milagro. Y tiene unas referencias a la cruz. He aquí la boda del Cordero. El esposo es Jesucristo. Y la esposa es la iglesia que representa toda la humanidad. En este misterio, la Virgen, al percatarse de que sin vino no puede haber una fiesta de boda, le dice a Jesús, no le dice lo que tiene que hacer. Le dice, tú puedes poner remedio. A eso ha venido Jesucristo, a poner remedio a la situación del mundo y de la humanidad. Y ahora le pedimos a la Virgen, no solamente que remedie la falta de vino, que remedie la falta de paz. Hoy acaba de empezar una guerra. Bueno, acaba de coger más fuerza una guerra que ya llevaba ocho años en Ucrania. Pero hoy ya se han subido los niveles de guerra y hay un peligro de una guerra mundial. Así que le vamos a pedir a la Virgen, no que nos dé vino, sino que nos dé paz. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejas caer en la tentación y libros de mala. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, los pecadores, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, Ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena de mi gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre. Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. 
Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestro muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María. Llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros. Los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Gloria al Padre, y al Hijo, y al Espíritu Santo. Como era en principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. María, Madre de Gracia, Madre de Misericordia, en la vida y en la muerte, amparanos, Gran Señora. Amén. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom. Jesus begins his public life inviting people to join his kingdom, the kingdom of his father. He's welcoming sinners and saints alike. But we have to convert, he said, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And when there is war, that means there is sin. And when there is sin, there can only be one remedy for sin and war, repentance. We have to ask forgiveness of God. And Jesus continues to invite us to his kingdom, a kingdom not of this world. So it's not a political kingdom, as many Jews expected. The king of the Jews, the Messiah who is going to rid themselves of all enemies. Jesus is speaking of another kingdom, the kingdom of grace, the kingdom of peace, the kingdom of love. And to enter that kingdom, we need to repent from sin. We shall be asking in this mystery for true repentance, and especially repentance of those people who have engaged in this violence and are actually engaging in violence. El tercer misterio luminoso es la invitación, la proclamación del reino. Jesús, cuando comienza su vida pública, invita a la conversión como la condición para entrar en el reino de paz, de amor, de fraternidad, al cual Dios nos está invitando a todos. La guerra que ha cogido nuevas fuerzas en Ucrania es fruto del pecado. No es fruto de la paz, ni de la fraternidad, ni de la reconciliación, ni del entendimiento entre las personas. En este misterio, al escucharlo, vamos a pedir que son hermanos ortodoxos los que están enfrentados, los rusos ortodoxos, los ucranianos ortodoxos, para que reine en nuestros corazones la paz. Pero antes de poder reinar la paz, tiene que haber el arrepentimiento. Así que la proclamación del reino requiere una respuesta de parte de la humanidad y eso es el arrepentimiento. Vamos a pedir que todos los corazones, sobre todo aquellos que están enfrentados, se arrepientan para que pueda haber paz y se haga este reino de Dios que en el Padre nuestro pedimos. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Praise the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, Lord is and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration, the holy metamorphosis, the holy change of form, the metamorphosis, the transfiguration of our Lord. In this mystery, we have, the apostles had just heard that Jesus was going to suffer the cross on Calvary. But now he shows them himself to be the divine Jesus. And Moses and Elijah, the law and the prophets, testify to Jesus, the Messiah, the true Messiah. As the apostles stand in awe and wonder. In this mystery, we are going to ask Our Lady, who was not present at the mystery, to make us be firm in our prayer. St. Luke is the evangelist that says, while Jesus was praying, he transformed himself. He transfigured himself. There will be no change. There will be no transformation without prayer. As we contemplate, as the apostles contemplated the transformation of Jesus, they themselves were transformed. 
El cuarto misterio luminoso es la santa H, metamorfosis, la santa transfiguración, cambio de forma. Jesús acababa de decirle a los apóstoles que él iba a sufrir la pasión y la muerte en la cruz. Pero para animarlos les muestra su identidad divina. Y para atestiguar su divinidad, convoca a Moisés en representación de la ley y a Elías en representación de los profetas. Así que el Antiguo Testamento, la ley y los profetas, atestigua que Jesús es el Mesías, el Mesías doliente. Pero los apóstoles, mientras contemplan la escena, se van de transformación de Jesús. Muy interesante, San Lucas, el evangelista nos dice, mientras oraba, se transformó Jesús. No va a haber transformación en el mundo. No va a haber conversión sin oración, sin oración contemplativa. Vamos a pedirle a la Virgen que no estuvo presente en la transfiguración, pero ella sí sabe cómo se transfigura el alma y la persona cuando contempla los misterios de la vida de Jesús. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu bien, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Nuestra muerte. Amén. Amén. Dios te salve, María. Llena él de gracia. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, Ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María. Llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve. Llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, Ruega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. 
El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Dios te salve, María, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Gloria al Padre, y al Hijo, y al Espíritu Santo. Como era en un principio, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. Oh Jesús mío, perdona nuestros pecados, líbranos del fuego del infierno, lleva al cielo a todas las almas, especialmente a las más necesitadas de tu misericordia. El quinto y último misterio luminoso, la institución de la Eucaristía. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist in this beautiful 16th century painting by Spanish painter Juan de Juanes, Jesus establishes the Eucharist. He perpetuates his sacrifice, his saving love for all generations. This is the food of heaven. Without this food, we die. We have no true life. So Jesus leaves for us the whole of his life, the whole of his work is in the Eucharist. His blood, that's why that's red garment he has, and his flesh, that's why the Eucharist, the cross is there. Let us, this is communion communion with him forever, that communion that will be uh, total in heaven. Let us ask Our Lady, who was not present at the institution of the Eucharist on Holy Thursday, to make us appreciate Holy Communion, which is the invitation we have to enter into communion with our brothers and sisters, And with our Lord. Este último misterio, Jesús instituye la Eucaristía. Todo, toda su vida, todo su ser, toda su obra está en la Eucaristía, se perpetúa. Él lo hizo por todos los hombres de todos los tiempos y de todos los lugares. Por eso la Eucaristía se celebra, para que nosotros tengamos acceso, podamos entrar en comunión con lo que Él hizo por nosotros. En el Calvario ofreció el sacrificio por todos los pecadores. En la Eucaristía que renueva el misterio de la cruz, volvemos otra vez a estar en comunión, una comunión que anticipa la comunión perfecta y plena en el cielo. Vamos a pedirle a la Virgen, que no estuvo en la institución de la Eucaristía el jueves santo, pero que ella nos dé un aprecio cada vez más grande por la Santa Eucaristía. Esa comunión que en una guerra está rota, porque se derrama la sangre de los hermanos. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst men. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst men. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of your mercy. Now we shall sing the Hail Holy Queen. And I'll sing it in Spanish. Sante, Sante Reina, y Madre de Misericordia, Vida Dulzura, y Esperanza Nueva. A ti llamamos los desterrados hijos de Eva, a ti suspiramos, viviendo y llorando en este valle de lágrimas. Vea pues, Señora, abogada nuestra, vuelve a nosotros esos tus ojos misericordiosa y después de este destierro muéstranos a Jesús fruto bendito de tu vientre oh clemente oh piadosa oh, 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 oh dulce Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may, so that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grants, we beseech thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Well, I finished our rosary. It's Thursday, the day that we thank God for priesthood in the church, but we are all priests by baptism. Some are priests by ordination, 
all of us are graced by. And now we have to exercise that duty we have to pray. This is part of our, the most important part of our priestly baptismal life. Prayer. She is the great intercessor before God, the Holy Trinity. And St. John Paul II, he has uh, taught us that this prayer of the rosary is to meditate and to exercise that great power of prayer in the world. Así que hemos concluido nuestro rosario. Eh, el jueves se coge porque es el día en que Cristo instituyó el orden sacerdotal. Pero todos participamos del sacerdocio de Cristo por nuestro bautismo. Y una de las misiones más importantes de todo bautizado es orar. Así que tenemos que orar. Eh, sobre todo en este conflicto que se ha agravado dramáticamente y amenaza con ser un conflicto global. Así que vamos a orar para ejercer nuestro sacerdocio bautismal. Thank you, Marian, and thank you for giving this opportunity here in the Grotto of Our, Lourdes, uh, Our Lady of Lourdes in Trujillo Alto in Puerto Rico. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you so thank much, you. Father. Um, now, I really, really want to thank Father Felice so very, very much, but there's just one or two uh, items that I'd like to cover before I switch off the recording. And that is to say that our next virtual Rosary Thursday takes place on the 31st of March, 2022. And it will be led by Father Roger Landry, a priest of the Diocese of Fall River in Massachusetts, who works for the Holy See Permanent Observer Mission at the United Nations in New York. He yet again is a very, very wonderful priest. And please pass the word around and let all your friends know of our virtual Rosary Thursdays and to the fact that every Thursday is Rosary Thursday. And I also want to remember people, and again, we'll speak about it a little piece more, is that our next annual Global Rosary Relay, which is now in big time planning, uh, takes place on the 24th of June, uh, 2022. And that's the day when the entire world, without exception of any location, place, person, all stop to pray uh, the rosary for the sanctification of priests and in thanksgiving, to Our Lady for the gift of her priests.